The New Hampshire State House is very easy to go inside. You can just go straight up the stairs through those doors and you are in the State House. The accessible entrance is over on the left. It's on the Park Street entrance. And you, and you should note that parking is always a challenge when you're coming to the state capitol. I encourage people to arrive a little earlier to allow time to get yourself a space. If it's a particularly busy day, that will be more challenging than not. There are parking garages that you can visit and kiosks for the parking spaces along the building. We also highly recommend the parking app that can be found on the City of Concord's website. With the app, you can put in your time for your parking space, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can always utilize the kiosks and they both take credit cards and cash. The State House has two elevators and two staircases directly beside the elevators. When you see the North Elevator, you know that you're going up on the Senate side of the State House. And if you're going to go to meet people outside the House Chamber, I highly recommend using the South Elevator on the other side. The gallery to the House is also located via the South Elevator or stairs, whereas the gallery to the Senate is located over here by the North Elevator. In the State House, there are actually two committee rooms that are typically only used by the Senate. They're much smaller than most of the committee rooms that you have over in the Legislative Office Building, but it's the same type of setup where the legislators sit towards the front. There is always a table in the center for the members of the public to come and testify. In the committee rooms, there's either tables outside the door or just inside the door where you can sign in and also pick up any materials that might be pertinent to the bill. The House Gallery is the largest gallery in the building. It seats nearly 200 people. So it's typical that you can always find your spot up in the House Gallery. I would encourage groups when they come to avoid the two sections closest to the doors and to actually make your way over to section four. There are four, just five distinct uh, sections up here. The house members will be seated below and that gives you a great opportunity to not only see what's happening in the room, but also for them to be able to see you. This first section is typically where they have invited guests and school groups, so there's a lot of in and out traffic in this section. The Senate Gallery takes a little bit getting used to because it's a very small space in the State House. There are only 45 seats in the gallery, so you have to plan if you're going to be here, get here early to get your seat in the Senate Gallery. But Sitting in the gallery is an amazing treat and a great way to show visibility on any issue. 24 senators sit below while the public can look from above. Often groups come to the State House during session days and want to hand out written material to members of the House and or the Senate. And there you can always stand in the hallways. Just note that they both have areas that are asked to be legislators and staff only. And to never stand on staircases, it's not safe for you nor for them. Not the best way to reach out to your legislators. But the hallways are large and typically you can line the hallways and reach out to your local legislators. So the governor's office is located on the second floor. It's in room 208. The hallways to the governor's office are often filled with people that are looking to um, make their uh, message heard, as well as wait to go inside if there's an executive council meeting. But it is an open office. The reception is right through here. In the State House, there are restrooms available on every floor of the building, though it should be noted that the men's room and the women's room are on opposite ends of the building, so 
if you find the restroom that you want, you're lucky. And if not, you will take a long walk down the other side of the hallway. Restrooms on every floor, and there's even a basement with restrooms as well as a cafeteria that opens early, though they typically close at two o'clock, but you can go in and have a drink. There's also an area where if you bring your own lunch or a snack, you can sit quietly and enjoy that. There's also an ATM machine and vending machines located in the basement of the state house. New Hampshire's legislative office building holds most of the public hearings that the legislators have during this time of session. And so you can access the building right through the front doors and there is a ramp to the left if you need it, but it's a very easy, accessible building with elevators throughout. There are a variety of committee rooms in the legislative office building, ranging from very small committee rooms that are typically used by the Senate to much larger committee rooms. This room we're in is one of the largest committee rooms in the building. And as you can see, the representatives have assigned seating facing the public who will be seated on the other side of the room. The table here with the microphone is used by members of the public when they come in to testify. When you're coming to testify at a legislative hearing, there'll be a desk where you can sign in. You can let them know whether you're here to speak in favor or in opposition to a bill. You can also let them know if you're leaving written testimony. Typically, there is someone there that will take that paperwork from you. If you're going to be testifying, feel comfortable in that you are testifying amongst a group of citizens much like yourself. Legislators are just a citizen legislature and they'll always be happy to hear from you.